First, we do have some breaking news to tell you about fraudsters exploiting an ATM glitch and stealing what may be hundreds of thousands of dollars. And good evening, everyone at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. Liz is off tonight. We're going to begin with that ATM fraud investigations in two states. The target, machines on Staten Island and several communities in New Jersey. The fraud apparently helped by social media. I would assume reporter Jim Bill live at the scene of Newport's New Dorp section of Staten Island with the latest. Jim. One tiny glitch. Bill, somebody, maybe several people noticed one tiny glitch in the ATM software at Santander Bank. And that one glitch, you're right, could end up costing the bank hundreds of thousands of dollars. According to sources involved in the investigation, a prepaid debit card called NetSpend, some people refer to them as green dot cards, allow users to take out huge amounts of money, not from any ATM, but only from Santander Bank ATMs. And because criminals aren't terribly smart, some shared that glitch on social media, and this morning several banks were targeted. In one case, people showed up with guns to rob the people with the cards, and at one bank, shots were fired. Several people have already been arrested here on Staten Island, but also in Essex, Morris, Hudson, and Middlesex counties in New Jersey. This is not technically a bank robbery, it's bank fraud, and again, several people are already in custody, and the police are looking for more. Santander has already, or is in the process of fixing that glitch and they claim no personal accounts were compromised today but again several people arrested and it's going to cost the bank a whole lot of money